What's cracking, Jump Nation family? It's your boy here, Rushi S, aka The Jump Rope Coach. Welcome back to the home of Jump Rope Fitness and Lifestyle people. Today we have another fire jump rope tutorial, of course. This is an advanced one, all right? So it's the one for those of you who are accomplished with a ton of moves, but more importantly, it's with the switch cross move, right? I've got three variations on how you guys can incorporate your switch crosses into combinations. And trust me, if you stick around to the end of this video, I'm gonna make sure I get you flying like bosses. Welcome back family. So if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. We're the fastest growing fitness community across the world today. We're taking cardio over and I wanna make sure you guys are along for the ride. So hit the links down below, grab yourself the most in-demand jump ropes on the internet. And we've got 10% off right now if you use Rush10 as your discount code. Today I'm gonna to be using the Nova Rope, which is out very, very soon. And believe me, man, this is a weighted speed rope, okay? So this is 250 grams. So if I can show you these three moves or these three combinations with this, then you already see the potential of this rope, right? You guys can get anything done with it. All right, so just a recap, all right? This is not gonna be an in-depth tutorial just on the switch cross, because I want you to check that out, okay? I got a massive tutorial on it, but you should be able, at this point, if you're watching this video, to be making sure you could do a, just a chilled switch cross like this, okay? So I'm just doing it with a boxer step. You can try and do it with a one step. And hopefully you guys are already up to this stage right now, okay? Like this move is not like the conventional crossover. The switch cross involves two crosses in kind of one revolution, all right? So slowing it down here, here. All right, so hopefully you've got your switch crosses on point. Now I'm gonna take you through the first variation. This is the easiest one out of the three, okay? This one is basically a switch cross into another cross. So switch cross, cross could be the name for it. What you're gonna do, right, is you're gonna get into your favorite kind of footwork. Let's say we're gonna start with a boxer step to do this move. You're gonna do your switch cross, right? So it's gonna go here, one, two, and then you're gonna finish with another cross whilst your hands are in this cross position. So what I like to do with this move, guys, is when I'm starting my switch cross, it's gonna happen with the left hand on top of the right. That's how I kind of start my normal kind of crosses. Then as I switch it in the first revolution, all you gotta do here is just keep your arms crossed and you're gonna just do another rotation, okay? So that's how we get the kind of switch cross, cross method. Don't wanna go into too much detail because this is the easiest one. So if you've already got the switch cross down, here, here, you just need to keep your hands crossed and you can just go for another little, little rotation. So when you're doing it kind of quickly, guys, it looks really nice. That's just with the boxer step. But if you wanna kind of sharpen it up, it's one, two, boom. That's just with a run, one, two, boom. When you finish in this movement here, when you switch it, all you have to make sure you do is just keep your hands or your wrists beside your body here. Don't bring them in, that's when you're gonna kind of trip. You need to keep the rope wider than your torso and make sure that they're at the same level. So when you're crossing, you just feel like there's like this kind of ledge. Your arms can't drop below it. So once you cross it, keep it at the same height, just rotate with your wrists, make sure your posture and the kind of timing of the rotation is in sync with everything you're doing before. And that's what's gonna keep it looking super, super slick. So number two guys, now we're trying to amp it up a little bit. Okay, so this one, you can now go into a double under crossover okay so switch cross into a dux um it's an open cross method so this one's gonna look like this so just to demonstrate let's just do it from a boxer step because that's always a nice one to show so switch cross boom boom and then into your dux double under crossover boom boom and what we're doing here is we're crossing we're doing the switch cross once we finish the second kind of rotation of that cross what we're gonna do is we're gonna explode so we're gonna take off set our feet we're gonna open the rope out, whip it open. That's gonna generate the speed to then jump up and then cross it just before you land. So that gives you the open cross method for the double under cross. And really guys, it's just about visualization, man. This is what this tutorial is about. It's an, and it's an advanced tutorial as it is. So visually, once you see it, you can practice it. And then it's a really nice way to kind of even engage and start some different types of combinations. You can go into more double unders or continuous double under crosses. But what I like to feel here is a nice foot set or a feet set. Once you finish a cross here, that little foot set here, 
then we're going to take off and you just want to have a little delay a little pause after you finish this switch cross right so you'll notice it here pause and that pause is really key because again it allows, allows you to set your feet get your body in the right positions then you take off and then it looks super super sharp third and final variation guys is the switch cross into a double under south pause so you see where i'm going with this you guys can do so many different types of variations these are just to help you guys especially when you're advanced like i said give you guys some new ideas on how to do this this one looks like this so i'm just doing it with a boxer step again you could do it with a run skip if you want but let's say you're here switch it and then you can explode off into the south pole now one tip i can give you guys when i was kind of practicing it and learning it what i found was you want to stay stable with your body when it happens you know when that kind of movement happens when you switch from the cross to the southpaw there, there will be a tendency for some of you to kind of move your torso with the southpaw what would look really really cool and slick is if you keep that body facing forward that chest facing forward and then those southpaws just happen super nice and natural so again feel like you plant those feet and take off at the right time so let's just top it off now we're just going to now piece together all the moves in one go so let's just say we're just going to do it all again with a boxer step the first one being a switch cross cross just like that then a switch cross d-u-x then a switch cross southpaw and you can just kind of go on for days and days and the cool thing about these variations people is just it gets your mind thinking gets your gets your focus on point and that's the beauty of this of this thing right and i've been saying it for years and years on this channel don't get disheartened if it doesn't come first day second day it takes time it takes practice like i said um, this is a journey take the slaps and uh, you will get to the destination at some point i promise you so if that helped you give this video a big thumbs up that would be really helpful for me allow this community to grow and yeah thanks again for all your support nova is coming very very soon you just see what i could do with this rope you guys will be doing the same thing with your workouts and your training so, yeah soon i'm so excited can't wait till it drops you guys will know first so yeah i'll see you in the next video as always guys so take care of yourself skip the treadmill stay safe peace was the knight in shining armor in your movie would put your lips on mine and love the end of days now